Mm -hmm. Here's what was served on me. Oh, uh huh. But we don't see it right there, do we? No. No, we don't. No. Mm -hmm. See, this is the stamp of the Clallam County Clerk. Yes. Ex officio. And if you kind of look at it, you can see the embossing of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see that right there? Yeah. <laughs> But I don't see that here. <laughs> In fact, I would say that I have the right to sue right now <laughs> for you violating the Full Faith and Credit Act of the United States of America. Yes. For admitting, yes, in other courts within the United States and its territories and possessions. Yes. A court order that did not attest of the clerk saying, yes, the transcript of the embattled time was as the same appears on file in my office, in testimony thereof I have hereunto set my hand <laughs> and affixed the seal of said county this 31st day of July 2015. <laughs> now it looks like with the use of the embossing seal, yes, and the stamp, yes, that's not on here. Uh oh. Now, um, this would say clerk and seal of the court annexed, yes. Now, it looks like attestation of the clerk and the seal of the court annexed. Yes. If a seal exists, and obviously it does. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Together with a certificate of a judge of the court. So, it looks like the superior court clerk has the stamp, mm -hmm. the seal, yes, and the forgery. Phew. But this, as Exhibit A, doesn't. Mm. 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 Now... Um, this, uh -huh, doesn't look like it's embossed. No, 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 uh-uh. It's just a record certification of the copy, uh, with that execution copy is a correct copy of the original? Yes. But it's really not a correct copy, is it? No. Mm -mm. Do you see a difference between the two right now? <coughs> and, um, mm -hmm. On the date filed with this office and was taken under the clerk's direction and control. Yes. Clallam County Clerk by uh, Christy Miller, Deputy, number of pages six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, we can see a little difference here, can't we? Yes. That this correct copy of the original, yes, doesn't have the actual stamp of the ex officio. No. Mm -mm. It doesn't have the embossing of the state seal? No, it doesn't. Mm -mm. And if this was admitted in any court of the United States, I'd say you'd be violating the Full Faith and Credit Act. Yes. Now, um, such records and uh, judicial proceedings or copies thereof so authenticated which shall have the same full faith and credit in every court within the United States. Uh-huh as they have by law and usage in the courts of such state, territory, possession from which they are taken. Yes. Now, when I want to sue you, I mean, I really want you in prison today. Do you understand? You have bound me to a court order. Yes. That is enforceable in every jurisdiction of the United States. Yes. And I'm bound to have to obey it. Mm-hmm. Until it expires. <laughs> now, let's see. October 15th of 2019. Yeah. What what, what day is it? Uh oh. Let's go with the date. Mm. Mm -mm. July mm -hmm. 31st. Oh, oh, oh. And uh, you issued it in 2015. Yes. So that would be 2025. Mm. We'll just see how much time we have left together. Yes. For the next five years, nine months, and 16 days, mm -hmm. I'm going to beat the crap out of this whole nation right now. Because you issued a binding court order mm -hmm. based upon the fraud of issuing a court order in 2011. Mm -hmm. Where you did not have the jurisdiction of law because there was no arrest that took place in Washington state. <laughs> then you you reissued the binding court order. Yes. Because of an arrest. Yes. That took place uh -huh, because of my wife's false accusation that I had violated the fraudulent protection order that was issued in 2011. <laughs> and then <laughs> you modified the fraudulent protection order. And then you reissued it in 2013 <laughs> by mail and publication. Oh, 
Oh, oh, uh huh. See, there was a motion for modification, uh huh. A reissuing, uh huh. Order modifying. Pooch. The permanent order was modified. Yes. And then you served me. Oh, and then there was renewal and notice. Yes. Affidavit of mailing. Pooch. Pooch. You put it in the Squim Gazette. Yes, you did. And you had the Sheriff's Department call me. <coughs> now I left. Yes. And you made no attempt to serve me until I had left the county. Yes. And then after I left, when I got back, yes, I went to the police station. I said, is there something I need to know? Mm -hmm. Something you want to tell me? <clears throat> and the chief of police personally served me the protection order. Yes. That was issued on August of 2013. <clears throat> and I stayed homeless for a year waiting for it to expire. Yes. You decided. <clears throat> 